My name is Pamela Z, and uh, I am a composer and a performer and a, a media artist. Um, and I'm what I am working on at the moment is far too many projects for a person to be working on at the same time. So I am uh, composing music for a dance piece that is being that is going to be performed in. San Francisco very soon, like in about a week. Um, I am composing music for a chamber ensemble called Eighth Blackbird um, that will include the, that ensemble plus my voice and electronics. Um, I just finished mounting a, a six-channel installation, sound and video installation, in a gallery here in Trondheim. Uh, and I'm working on uh, cu curating and performing in um, a piece called, uh, that's a, an event called Soundbox that happens in San Francisco. It's uh, produced by the San Francisco Symphony. And um, I am the guest artist and guest curator for the one that's that's going to be at the end of this month. And that also involves uh, voice and electronics and a lot of different chamber ensembles, uh, vocal ensembles, and uh, chamber orchestra. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's very hard for me to choose a favorite part because uh, there's aspects of it. Of there's a lot of aspects of it that I that I really enjoy. Um, I the the performing part in the end. The, the performing part is maybe maybe the most exhilarating part is the performing because that's where you get all of the adrenaline rush from you know, playing the music in front of an audience. Um, but I also really love uh, the process of putting the work together, especially after it starts to come. The, I think maybe the least favorite part is when you have this deadline, you have to make something, but you don't have a kernel yet of how you're going to start. That's probably the least, least favorite part. <laughs> Well, I, first of all, I always think, um, I don't all, I don't really think of my field as being music technology. I think uh, of that I'm an artist and I'm making art and this technology just happens to be some of the tools that I use for doing that. Um, but I guess in terms of how how it sits within the culture, uh, uh, being a woman and doing this sort of thing. Um, I've sort of lived through um, a long period uh, uh, where it was evolving from a time when women were certainly doing it, but not getting the recognition and respect for it. Um, and so the field was very dominated by men and people made uh, all kinds of sort of uh, absurd, stereotypical um, uh, uh, conclusions that they would jump to about uh, uh, somebody being female in the field to a time now where I feel like um, women are really rising up to the place that they should be uh, and getting the recognition for what it is that they're doing. Um, so I think, I think it's been really good for me because um, I can see in the early days that I would get notice because of being a woman doing something that women aren't, were not expected to be doing and, uh, and how that has gradually changed to people now really respecting it and, and really understanding that that um that it's normal for women to to do this kind of work so <laughs> that's a little bit of a 
run on answer, I guess. <laughs> 